In the darkness of deep space, a lonely craft named Voyager 2 still drifts, moving past stars that shimmer like dust across a vast cosmic sky. It's been nearly 50 years since it launched from Earth, and yet it whispers faint signals across the quiet void. Voyager 2 wasn't supposed to last this long, and certainly not travel beyond the warmth of our sunset solar system. But despite its ancient design, it kept moving, passing planets like a slow comet through an endless ocean. Its voice was always soft, a fading echo from a machine powered by a decaying heat source in a frozen night. But recently, something changed. A strange message arrived, not noise, not silence, but a ripple across the black sky. When NASA decoded the signal, they found a pattern, a frequency so unusual it lit a fire in their lab. Not just surprising, it was terrifying, a discovery that shook the foundations of everything we thought we knew about the edge of the solar system. Voyager 2 began its journey only because of a rare planetary alignment, a 176-year event that formed a natural cosmic pathway. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune aligned like stepping stones across a shimmering cosmic sea. A part-time NASA employee noticed this beautiful arrangement, sketching pads with a pencil on a silent desk. His calculation allowed Voyager 2 to slingshot from planet to planet, like a stone skipping across a galactic lake. With only 69 kilobytes of memory, less than a car keys chip, and a transmitter as weak as a refrigerator bulb, it moved farther than anything before it. Even now, billions of miles away, it sends signals back to Earth through the deep black darkness. In 2018, Voyager 2 crossed the helipause, a boundary where the sun's influence fades into interstellar space. Its twin, Voyager 1, crossed it years earlier, but what Voyager 2 discovered didn't match any prediction. It was supposed to find clear changes, new radiation, magnetic orientation, but instead, it found stillness. Magnetic fields didn't shift as expected. Plasma density rose, but the direction remained oddly the same. Imagine walking into a new room and seeing the walls painted in the exact same color. Physics wasn't supposed to behave that way. That's when scientists began to wonder, had we misunderstood the very shape of space? For years, we believed the heliosphere was a neat bubble protecting our solar neighborhood. But Voyager 2 revealed it was more like a tangled storm, a chaotic field of overlapping energies. Instead of silence, it found noise, weird pulses, ghost-like radiation, and unpredictable plasma waves. It was like entering a twilight zone between known and unknown, a shadowy corridor in the universe. In one area, Voyager found stable plasma and increasing radiation, yet the magnetic field stayed unchanged. By our physics, that shouldn't happen, not unless something massive was interfering in the cosmic field. Even more amazing is how Voyager 2 is still functioning despite its ancient circuits and dying battery. Its systems were never meant to handle such extreme cold, yet instruments kept working as if they refused to die. Five systems still send data, but by 2030, they'll all go silent, like stars winking out one by one in a dark sky. Before that silence arrives, Voyager the 2nd of May rewrite everything we thought we knew about the border of space. We used to think the heliosphere trailed like a comet's tail, shaped neatly by the sun. But Voyager's data shows something far messier, warped boundaries, interstellar winds, and chaotic magnetic forces. Sudden radiation bursts, weird magnetic shifts, and pockets of high-density plasma appeared from nowhere. It's like trying to measure a cloud's edge using a ruler, impossible, foolish even. Some scientists now believe the galactic magnetic field is twisting and pulling the heliosphere like a cosmic rope. Voyager 2, now over 12 billion miles from Earth, proves our sun's reach is not what we once thought. And that's not just fascinating, it's a real cosmic threat. As Voyager moves beyond our protective bubble, it's bombarded by galactic cosmic rays, deadly particles from ancient supernovas. These rays are no longer filtered, and their intensity is rising in structured, pattern pulses. Some believe these signals are signs of hidden interstellar structures, clouds, plasma storms, or the debris of collapsed stars. If these waves can penetrate Voyager's hardened shell, what chance does human life have in deep space? These rays can burn through metal, destabilize systems, and even destroy DNA. As Voyager drifts deeper into the shadows, it shows just how fragile we truly are in the cold galaxy. Each Voyager carries a golden disk, our only real message to the unknown, a beautiful mirror of our existence.
called Earth's mixtape, it holds Chuck Berry, Beethoven, greetings, and photos from our planet. It's our quiet way of saying hello to whatever may be listening in the cosmic silence. President Carter's voice is engraved in gold. This record represents our hope and our goodwill, echoing through deep space. That record may outlive everything else, a time capsule adrift in the endless night. Then came the strangest moment of all, a signal from Voyager 2 that didn't belong. It was a short, consistent, mathematical pulse, only 2.4 seconds long, not noise, not radiation. It didn't match any solar source, nor any known cosmic pattern. NASA called it an error, but engineers whispered differently, some said it felt deliberate. It has never repeated, but that one moment was enough to change how we look into the cosmos. Voyager 2 with its failing voice, caught something that breaks every rule we've ever written. What else have we missed simply because we weren't listening? Voyager 2 is more than a machine, it's a reflection of human curiosity, drifting through a frozen galaxy. It was built not for conquest, but for questions, coded by hands, guided by minds, and launched from Earth's surface. Even now, it sends back plasma sounds and radiation whispers from a place no one has ever seen. It survives not because it's strong, but because we dare descend it beyond the reach of our skyline. It reminds us that the universe isn't loud, and truth doesn't always come in explosions. The faintest signal, from the farthest corner of the galaxy, can say more than all the noise on Earth. Voyager speaks not just of stars and plasma, but of us, our questions, and our endless need to know.